What's up everyone? Today we're going to be looking into a piece of news that actually created a lot and a lot of excitement uh, in July of 2022. And that was actually the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. <music> So you might actually be thinking, well, why do I even care about astronomy? Uh, why do I care that there has been some kind of new telescope that's been created? Well, this telescope is kind of a state-of-the-art, cutting-edge technology. In fact, it actually gives us a lot more answers about how our solar system or how our planets even came to be. So first of all, what is the James Webb Space Telescope? The James Webb Telescope is actually the largest telescope that exists in space as of right now. It took 25 years to build. It was overdue by around 14 years. It cost around 10 billion US dollars, around 20 times over budget. So why was it actually such a big deal? Well, first of all, we need to actually understand why do we even need a telescope in space? So there's actually a pretty good analogy that actually provides a good understanding of why we need space telescopes. Now let's actually imagine that you're trying to look at the very bottom of the ocean. Now, you can imagine that that's actually very, very difficult. There is a lot of things that are actually interfering with your vision. That could be some kind of murkiness or some kind of sand or some kind of sediments within the water. Now the same case actually applies for when we're actually trying to look into outer space. Well, from the Earth, we don't actually see that many stars and galaxies, and that's simply because there is some kind of atmosphere that is kind of interfering with our vision towards outer space. So what is the solution towards this is we create a telescope, we launch it into space, and that vision becomes all the more clearer. Now, the James Webb Telescope isn't actually the first space telescope to exist. In fact, it is actually a successor of another telescope that you might have heard of called the Hubble Telescope, which actually gave us a lot of answers about our universe. So there are actually a few reasons of why we actually needed to create this kind of telescope. Now, the first one, and perhaps the most important one, is that it actually allows us to peer into a history of our universe. The second one is that it also allows us to explore other habitable exoplanets. Now, exoplanets are simply just planets that exist outside our own solar system. So how does a telescope like the James Webb or the Hubble actually give us a better understanding of the history of our universe? Now let's think of a very, very simple example of where you look up into the night sky and you see a star. When we actually look at a star in our night sky, it's almost like we're taking a glimpse into the past. And the reason why is because light actually takes a long time to travel from one destination to another. Whenever we look at some star in our night sky, it is actually taking a lot of time for the light to travel from its original destination to Earth. So the pretty incredible thing is that at the actual destination as of right now, that star might not even exist. It might have burnt out and it might have died already. So hopefully you can kind of understand that when we look at stars in our night sky, we're actually taking a glimpse into the past. Now that's just with our very own two eyes. Now let's think about what happens when we take a massive telescope, we put it into space, and we point it into a certain direction in our universe. Then we start to uncover so many other things about the universe. For example, how do galaxies form? So with the Hubble telescope, that was possible, but only to a certain extent. When we pointed it into a certain direction, we already saw some galaxies that were already well established. They already had structure. The crazy thing about the James Webb Telescope is that it is around 20 times more powerful than the Hubble. What does that mean is that we can actually look further into our galaxy. And what does that mean is that we can also see older galaxies. That gives us an understanding of what the past looks like inside our very own universe. And to actually create this telescope, it was no easy feat at all. I mean, as I just mentioned, it actually took around 25 years to actually create. The difference between this telescope and the Hubble is that the James Webb Telescope actually has to be maintained at a very, very cold temperature. And the only way that it can do this is if it actually stays in one spot within the sun's orbit. This exact spot actually allows it to stay away from the heat of the sun, earth, and the moon. That point is called 
the Lagrange 2. The James Webb telescope had a much wider surface area than the Hubble telescope. In fact, it was 21 feet in diameter. The whole telescope itself is actually as big as something like a tennis court. And the only way that we could have actually transported this telescope into space was by being able to fold it. And that's kind of why it has this kind of honeycomb pattern. So why is this actually so monumental when it comes to the human society in general is because it's not only the engineers at NASA or the other space agencies that actually allowed for this invention to happen. In fact, it took the larger part of society to actually work together to even make the data that was being received through the telescope to be understood by the everyday person. With a combination of machine learning and data processing, we have actually been able to create readable data from its observations. So when people start to question, what is the point of these creations that take so much time and money to spend? In fact, it's actually a great marvel because it actually demonstrates how far our society has actually progressed when it comes to tech innovation. And only through the few months of its operation, the telescope has already managed to provide wonderful details about the universe that we previously didn't know but who knows what other discoveries it's going to make in the next few years. And the only way to truly understand more about humankind and our universe is only if we actually ask the right questions. This telescope allows us to ask those exact questions. And that's going to be a wrap of an exploration into this fantastic technological marvel that is the James Webb Telescope. We'll see you in the next video.